morning. I'm in a bit early this morning because we got some cattle going and then we've been feeding cows. Everybody's in. Em's back and is back. If you like this sort of stuff, remember to press like and subscribe. Business. Okie dokie, we didn't really need to come in this early. But we're here. I like going until the afternoon, so um, I don't know. Got, got a good start to the day anyway. Let there be light. So we're on it. Um, I'm on the DM, we're going to start feeding out. Then I've got to do a mix. LED lights on these JCBs are immense. It's just from the JCB, like, there's no other lights in this shed. Andy! And it's on it, look. Blowing the straw out, putting the new beds down for the cattle. And now, I'm on the mixer, just putting the molasses in. I often say, how do you know how much molasses to put in? Well, we just weigh it with the clock. So then I just drop the feeder bucket off and we'll put the uh, the feed, well, the other feeding bucket, but this is just for tipping into the mixer, our clean bucket. Put some lights on it. We'll get this barley bashed in. So here we go. Put in the last bucket in, so we'll have this one measured in. That'll do. Ten and a half ton. I've just put the pipes on the MX bucket. And there's a number of people been asking me about this. So basically, we've just got an auger in the bottom, and these run off the auger and turn it round and agitate it. And then this section here, that, that all opens up when you put the auger in, uh, in forwards and it pushes it all out. And then when you put it in backwards, it shuts the door and puts the auger that way. Happy New Year, Em! Full of joy, that Em, full of joy. <laughs> and it's just blasting round. Em was just going there to open the gates for him. That's all. Well, I jump on the 7.5. Can't be jumping on here much longer, can I? This new tractor must be coming soon. I mean, it's all the better. Like, let leave the leave the tractor at the at the dealership. We'll keep running this. The deal's been done. It's all right, man. Leave it there. It's fine. Keep putting the hours on the 7.5 for now. But yeah, it'd be nice to get here, so I can show you all. We're back on feeding. Can you see what's missing at the bottom? If you watch yesterday's video, you will know. We can get to them bales now. So Andy's just finished drawing up in there, and I'll go straight in with the meal then. That's a nice bale, Andy. Yeah. A good top on it. So I'm just putting the pipes on for me, and then we're going to go and blow this straw out in the pen. And it's still on it. Is it going to work? Is it going to work? I think it's going to work. Yeah, there we go. Coming out of the spreader bale. The great thing about the spreader bale is, look, you can see when you're loading these bales up. Now I've seen there's like a teagull version um, that you can put on the front of the forklift, that's what I'm looking for. You can't really see anything. We have had it on demo before and yeah, you just can't see it. There's nothing there. At least with this, yeah, it's a big thing stuck out of the front, but you can see to load your bales and you can see what's happening with your bale as well. Easy peasy. So we're back to having issues with the nine meter. I think we'll, we'll have to go and get out filters for it and uh, we'll change out filters. I think it's more like a top fit at top. Yeah, yeah ish. Long time since you've used an air dryer, innit, Andy? Yeah. <laughs> right, we'll give it a shot. Ready? Keep 
Can you hear it buzzing? Is it buzzing, that thing at the top? Yeah, buzzing. I'll leave it buzzing for a minute then. A few people, we've just had us coffee, uh, a few people have said take the uh, uh, fuel rail sensor off. So, just going to have a look now and see if I can see which one I think is the sensor on the fuel rail because it looks like there's three. Something right on the end here, which could possibly be it because it looks like what's on for sale online. But then at the other end of the fuel rail, there is two sensors there, I think. So it could be them as well, but I'm guessing it's this one at the end. Back down here. So I don't know what make of connector that is, but geez, um, yeah, I haven't managed to get it off. So what I've done is I've tried taking that one off at that end of the fuel rail and uh, it's not started. So yeah, off to TC Harrison's, I think. Got a lorry full of something here. I don't know what this is. I hope it's not traffic gold because we've got loads of it. So, as we've got the bread here, we want to put it in that shed. I just want to clean the uh, front of this pit off so we can tip it and there's as little muck as possible. Keep it as clean as we can. So, he's just backing it in now and we'll tip it up. The big Volvo. There it goes. It was stuck sticking in the trailer initially. Got it all the way up now, it's coming out well. All that bread is I think it's all bread. There we go. So he's off on his way now. And I've got all that to get in there. So I thought, you know what, stuff the bread, let's try and get this uh, machine fixed because I need to fetch some straw down and if I ain't got 9 meter, I ain't going to be able to do it with a TM, so here I am, TC Harrison's fancy, fancy JCB place. Helpful as ever in there, so I've got my genuine JCB filters and I've got an engine filter as well because we're going to um, we're gonna service it as well at some point, it needs one sort of soon. So um, we're going to try them, filters, and then if it still doesn't work, which no, in my look, it won't, um, I'm going to give them a call and talk to somebody about it. And he um, says they might just be able to give some pointers over the phone to get it sorted. And if not, they said they'll just come out and sort the job for me because they're not that busy, which surprises me, really. It's like first day back for a lot of companies, isn't it? Um, You'd think that everybody's, well then again, I suppose, a lot of these construction mach machines have just been packed up. They're not going to break, break down so much, are they? Right, I better get off anyway, because I'm rambling and um, I'm hungry. I want some dinner. Let's have a go at getting this thing sorted. So I've got the old filter off and we'll, uh, we'll put the new filter on and that's the bottom of it. Goes in the bottom of that. Anybody that gets one of these JCBs and they're not familiar and you decide to service it, You've got your fuel filter there, and then you've got your secondary fuel filter. I don't know if I even work this out where it is. Try and get some light in here. But basically, it's right down there. You've got to take the belly plate. Yeah, you can't see. You've got to take the belly plate off underneath here to get to it. It's a bit of a pain. Um, but that's what we need to do, because there's no point me just changing one of them. We need to get them both changed. This is where all the Merlot fans go. Oh, and the Merlot, you can get to them straight away. He's a peasy. <sighs> yeah, anyway, get under here. Of course, everything under here is covered in cow muck, which is lovely. To be honest, it's not too bad though. Um, so yeah, then I need to get that filter off and, uh, and change it. It's only two bolts that hold it on and it just slots in at that side. So it could be worse. 
So, I flick the ignition on. We're on round here. This primes it. That's running. Must be filling the filters up. Then it knocks off. Right, it knocks off. Clicks, clicks in here somewhere. Go to start it. Nothing there. I wish I knew more about these. Really do wish I knew more about these. Um, looks like it's going to be a call to TC Harrison's and see if they can, one, talk to me through anything on the phone and then two, get out here to sort the job. So, it sounds like it's running. What do you do then, Em? Oh. What happened? Well, it started, eh? oh, and then it started? Yeah. <sighs> Well, on the engine, yeah. Oh, that's good anyway, at least it started. I think that sounds noisy, like it's blowing. Yep. That sounds pretty noisy there. Well, it's normal, I think. See hey, what, you took two of Yeah, so that, that JCB, what the hell's happening with that, I don't know. Um, we'll just have to see what it's like again in the morning. Bad little Alvin TC Harrison. Good job when you fetch him out. <laughs> fetch him out then. Oh yeah, it starts. Boom. So while we've got the cover off, we're going to let the oil out at the same time. Change this over. It's it's, it's getting towards needing the service, but. Well, I've got a belly plate off and we're having some issues. Let's get everything right with it. And then, I mean, you know, the reason it's not starting is not going to be to do with a bit of oil in the, in the engine. But while I've got a belly plate off, we might as well do it. Easy peasy. Oil filler cap off. Should have probably took this off earlier so it runs out a bit quicker. Let's air into the top then. Fill it up a bit more. We're just getting on drips now, I think. Check this out, my brother's here. Part time farmer. So I don't know why they put the. Uh, well, I mean, there will be a reason, but this oil filter's on upside down, so I'm guessing we're going to have oil everywhere. Most of it should have drained, but it's going to spill oil. Surely. If it comes off. Yep. It spills it. Really hands aren't the best thing for uh, for operating this but just put some in look at that we're about there in fact I might even leave it at that now I'll give it a bit more because we've got the filter to uh, to fill up we'll get it to the full line so I've got that all sorted now just left M just tidying the tools up and stuff and I'm gonna jump in the scanner and take this load of cattle that I thought I was taking Early this morning. These guys are all loaded up now, so we'll get these took and then get back into the yard for probably for feeding up time, something like that. So as I'm passing Ripton Farm Services, could this be the new tractor? Who knows, eh? Could it be that case? Could it be the New Holland? Could it be in that lineup? We'll have to wait and see. I'm back in the yard now. Still not fix this drive. Let's watch this. Oof. Yeah, we've got some big holes there. Um, I keep driving around them in my car, but I need to get it fixed. As soon as it's dry, we'll fix it. Mixer's out. Bread's away. Ah, Ben's car's still here. Still need to clean up this mess that I uh, made earlier. So I've just come round here. We'll get these bales from the new side of uh, new side of the stack. All the way up there. Lovely. It's high fetching them down from up there. Especially when they're wet and they're heavy. But it's a good machine. When it's running, it's a good machine. When it's running. When it wants us to get started. I'll have to try and find out what the root of this problem is, but yeah, baffling me. It's feeding round. M's just on the mixer, she's gonna back it up for me. And um, I'll get the last bucket put in. 
Mm. So you've got partridge in the yard. It's all gone, mate. But nice to see. What's this you're telling me? Someone's from Paul's Baggins been in yard this morning. Ah, so it's one of your mates from college. Yeah, one of the lads, of course. <laughs> is he excited that his, yard, his, his wagon's been here? I think so, it's his best as well. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> Will Mitchell. Oh. Will Mitchell, boom. His lorry's been at yard, delivering bread, I'm guessing. So, I'm just, just cleaning up some of the meal. I ain't got a window that's not covered in water. See him there. So Ben's coming to open the gates for me now. Get some work out of him. We needed a bit of extra straw this evening. A few places looking a bit wet with this weather, so we're just blowing a bit more in. While Andy does a mix. Keeping my eye in. M's coming in now. Gonna part the TM up. There it is. Andy's going to get um Oh and there's a mug in there. Ben's left his mug in there. So Andy left his hat in there. Ben had left a, a mug in there and I'd left my jumper, so uh, only person that remembered is, uh, is Andy, of course. Yeah, that's about it from us today. Um, we've uh, we've got everything in. Em's put the TM away. Andy's put the one... No, you put the mixer, didn't you, actually? You fetched that in. And um, our Ben uh, um, watched us. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, a bye from Andy. A bye from Ben. Where the hell's Em? Bye! <laughs> I'll show you the setup of that. Behind the scenes of M hiding in the box. Yeah. Is it comfy in there, M? I'm getting comfy. Do you reckon we could package her? I wonder how much it'd be to send an M. Ooh. Fruit post. I hope to save a bit of petrol money these days. Yeah. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Remember we got any tape? What? It's what? Like done it the last Every kid's dream? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you enjoy it in there, Em? It's quite cold in here. Was it? It was. Oh. It's a, uh, <coughs> it's a container for some of the injections that we use. A plastic one. Oh, yeah. You can put like a heated... Um, you can heat it up. Has it still got the heat stuff in it, actually? Has it got any weight in it? Yeah, it's right. Pick it up, then. <laughs> you have to crack it and... It's if cold, if you're cold. Oh, no, I was just showing the there. kids this. Oh, it's right, good. Is it done already? No? Yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. This is business, this. Is when I can Pop do it. it. Age, it. Shouldn't be that hard, should it? No, it should just flip. Just it should just pop. Yeah. I usually do. It's gonna pop. Oh, it's it? done it. It's done it. It's oh, done it. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. So then, that's right. That. That gets hot. Like, Lovely. obviously, you can't tell this from at home, but you spread it. We tried undoing it, but it don't it's work. It's a exothermic reaction, isn't it? Yeah. So it gives out. No, but we tried undoing it and then freezing it. That's right, it. isn't it? Not so endothermic, it's exothermic. Yeah, so. If I think if you put it in, um, I'm not sure. People probably tell me in comments, but I reckon if you put that in a bo boiling pan of water, it goes back. We tried it. Me and Dad, it didn't work. No, they're, they're the sports oh, did ones you? you used to buy, aren't they? You bought the sports oh, ones. Uh, with it. Put that on your neck, you know. So <coughs> cool how it goes back to being like a solid, though, isn't it? Goes from a liquid to a solid and gets hot. That's actually wet, <laughs> Anyways, bye. 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 I've got this. It's really nice yeah, and warm. Put it in a boiling pan. <laughs>